Phil needed to put together a critical business plan for his boss, George. He was pretty nervous about his ability to pull this off. Dan from the solutions team just installed a new PDF editor on his desktop. He was hoping Fox of Phantom PDF can help him succeed at this difficult project. His first step was to get information from the call from the accounting department. He talked with the call who sent him the required financial data in a Microsoft Excel spreadsheet. As he was moving the file on his desktop, he accidentally dragged and dropped it on top of Phantom PDF. To his surprise, Phantom PDF converted the Excel document to PDF. Well, he thought, maybe this Phantom PDF software can help me after all. Phil needed sales information from Andrew in the North Carolina office to put in his new report. Andrew faxed the document to Phil, who was in the Atlanta office. Phil thought, thanks Andrew, what am I going to do with this paper? He remembered that Phantom PDF had an icon for scanning, so he put the document on the scanner and used Phantom PDF to scan the document into a PDF. He received a warning from his computer that it was running out of disk space and remembered that files containing scanned images were quite large. So we used the Optimize Scan PDF button. It greatly reduced the file size, the warning disappeared, problem solved. He noticed that the document was still an image and he couldn't select, search, or edit the content. A pop-up in the software told him to OCR it. He didn't know what that was, but tried it anyway. After the OCR completed, he could now select, edit, and search for the text. Success, he thought. Jenny from the customer success team gave him a customer survey form she built in Microsoft Word, which needed to be part of the report. He remembered that PDF forms were popular, so he dragged and dropped the form on Phantom PDF. Now he had a PDF form. The form looked good, but he couldn't fill it out. He saw a button in Phantom PDF called Run Form Field Recognition. He wasn't sure what that was either, but based on previous success, he decided to try it out anyway. Suddenly, form fields appeared on the form. He could now fill it out. Wow, Phantom PDF has been a big help. Phil had three different PDF files that he needed to combine and reorder. He saw a thumbnail view button and pressed that. He now saw his document in a view that looked like a PowerPoint slide sorter, and he knew how to use that. He moved pages from one file to another, and then within that document by dragging and dropping the pages. He then added a header, page numbers in the footer, and the company logo in the corner of every page. For the first time in this project, Phil actually thought he could successfully complete it. He had to send the document out for review before he gave it to George. He put a watermark on the document saying draft. Use Phantom PDF to put it on his cloud storage account, then send a link out of the document to his colleagues. Dan from Solution also installed Phantom PDF on his colleague's laptop using something he called the admin console. Phil's colleagues used the comments feature in Phantom PDF to provide feedback. Phil was distressed when he received the feedback. He saw that he had to modify content and change some of the formatting by moving text and images around. Could this new software do that? Well, Phil thought, Phantom PDF has been a pleasant surprise so far. Let's see what else it can do. He had text in three columns that he had to modify. He used Phantom PDF to link the columns together and magically the text reflowed across the columns as he modified it. He was able to change font styles, font size, make things bold. He thought this is just like a word processor. He then tried to drag and drop a text paragraph to a new location on the page. It can't be that easy, he thought. It worked. It was that easy, he yelled. He moved text, objects, and images around with ease. The document was now complete. Or was it? Phil just received an email from Didi, the compliance manager. She said that company policy is that all documents needed to be accessible, meaning it had to be able to be consumed by people with disabilities. Phil viewed the accessibility tutorial videos and tried using Phantom PDF's accessibility tools. He sent the file off to Dee Dee and was happily surprised when she replied that the document successfully completed testing. Now the report was perfect. Phil needed to provide two copies of the report. Since the document contained confidential information, he needed to protect one copy. Can Phantom PDF do this as well, he thought. 
He used password protection to allow only those people with the password, his boss George, the company's founder Eugene, and himself to open the file. He also used it to ensure that no changes can be made to the document except himself. The second copy was not to be protected, but he had to hide some confidential information. He used Phantom PDF's redaction feature to securely obscure sensitive information so everyone could read the rest of the document. Is there anything the Phantom PDF software can't do? He asked cheerfully. He was now finished and submitted the report well ahead of the deadline by using Phantom PDF SharePoint integration to check in both files on the corporate file sharing server. George and Eugene were so happy, Phil now has a corner office and got a big raise. He used some of that raise to take Dan out to lunch, since without Phantom PDF, completing the project would have been mission impossible. Download a free trial of Phantom PDF today and see how it can make all your document missions possible.